Welcome back to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke chapter 13 now, verses 6 through 9, and Jesus is going to speak a parable. Here it is. He also spoke this parable. A certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came seeking fruit on it and found none. Then he said to the keeper of his vineyard, Look, for three years I've come seeking fruit on this fig tree and find none. Cut it down. Why does it use up the ground? But he answered and said to him, Sir, let it alone this year also until I dig around it and fertilize it. And if it bears fruit, well, but if not, after that, you can cut it down. So there's a request here. Let's try a little bit harder. Let's go just a little bit longer, and maybe we'll get some fruit in the fourth year. Uh, now, when I moved to Michigan in 2019, uh, back to Michigan, I planted fruit trees. In fact, I started away by planting my favorite apple, which is the Brayburn apple. And I've got two Brayburn apple trees that have been in there since the fall of 2019. It's 2023, just barely. And uh, I can tell you those first three years, no apples. But I'm not going to go out and dig them up. Instead, I'm going to just make sure they're well fertilized. And maybe this year we'll actually get some fruit. But I want to tell you that look at what you have here. Here is a statement about the mercy of God. Here's a tree that's not bearing fruit. And it, now I don't know about fig trees because I've never had a fig tree. But perhaps after three years, a small fig tree should be bearing a few figs and in that climate and so on, but that it wasn't happening. But anyway, the, the gardener says, the servant, he says, look, let me, just, let me just try a little bit harder. Let's go one more year if you're willing, and then, then we'll see what happens. So God is merciful. He, he lets us, he takes extra time. He's extra merciful. And in fact, if you'll think about it, in your case, I'm sure he's been, and in my case, he's been extra merciful by allowing us uh, opportunity to come to him and repent. And we've perhaps departed from him more than once, and yet he's allowed us to come back. Let's be true. Let's let's walk, walk with him. And he's putting in a lot of extra effort. Let's let Jesus uh, fertilize. Let's let Jesus work on our hearts, and let's let him make some of those key changes that we've been putting off. But hey, you know, you're a year older than you were last year. You're three years older than you were. If it was three years ago. So let's let him fertilize that tree at least, uh, let's give him at least a little bit more time. Let's come to him now and go all the way, all the way in this year with Jesus. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, you are a good God. You are merciful and you will give extra time. And yet there is a time coming when everything will conclude. All opportunities for salvation will be in it because Jesus will come. So, Lord, we know that we're getting closer and closer to such a time. Help our hearts to be right now so that we can serve you to the utmost before that day comes and as many hearts as possible be turned to you, even a few of them perhaps through our little ministries, each one of us. And, Lord, be our helper and bless us, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So, friend, listen, the Lord loves you and he loves all those people he wants you to interact with and help towards the kingdom. May his blessings be upon you as you Receive from him to give to others. Receive the, the, the gospel and give it to others. His blessings be with you today.